Hello everybody. Welcome to the fifth video on getting started with BTP for ABAP developers. We know that it's been a bit late, but don't worry. Here we are back again with quite exciting content to understand about the different pillars associated with SAP BTP. So in our last video, we did talk about the technical aspects of SAP BTP. And till now, we would have understood that how it is an important topic for every organization today to look into SAP BTP. What actually the platform is offering, its various capabilities and how crucial it is to have that technology foundation which helps to address changes quickly. We know that digital technology platforms are a key innovation enabler and we also have understood till now that SAP BTP helps us to respond to all the modern rapid demands. It's not just a technology platform, it's business technology platform as it enables us to use business content, pre-built context that helps in creating business cases, applications faster based on ready to use content like data models and ready to use templates or even completely ready to use AI business services. So on that note, now let's understand the solution areas which SAP BTP is offering. SAP BTP services and solutions can be majorly categorized into five key pillars. And these pillars are the application development, automation, integration, data analytics and AI. In short form, we can say A A I D A I D A. Now let us understand in brief about each of these five different pillars. So first let's get started with application development where we talk about build and innovate with low code, pro code or no code development wherein we create an unified developer experience that allows every developer to build apps faster no matter what the skill level is and deliver personalized experiences through unmatched integration and connectivity with SAP and third party applications that is we talk about the extensibility. Now moving forward to automation with respect to automation here we talk about optimizing and automating the processes and tasks. Here we focus on simplifying automation with drag and drop and AI capabilities. We try to simplify new processes with seamless integration between SAP and non-SAP systems. And here we mostly try to leverage SAP build process automation, SAP task center and many other such services. Now talking about the third pillar that is integration, which is basically about connect and simplify. Here we deal with modernizing integration with confidence by making use of SAP integration suite along with advanced event mesh for handling end to end integration use cases. It's about accelerating integration with 2500 plus pre-built SAP and non SAP integration solutions with the help of SAP API business hub. Now coming to a very crucial pillar that is about data and analytics where we try to give data a purpose. Here we try to connect data across multi cloud and on premise repositories in real time for data analysis to drive and get better business results. This solution uniquely enables us to achieve a deep understanding of business context by maximizing the value of the SAP data that we get to derive impactful decisions. It helps in delivering trusted insights on a modern data stack by governing all the data across the enterprise so that we do not need to worry about any wrong data. Here we have database capability such as SAP HANA Cloud and we have data warehousing solution with the SAP Data Warehouse Cloud and the data management solution in SAP Data Intelligence Cloud. The analytics solution goes with 
SAP Analytics Cloud, which helps to plan, forecast, and make rapid insight-driven decisions. We also have the latest SAP Data Sphere, which enables us to get a single view of data across every aspect of the organization without having to physically move it into a single place. Now, talking about the last pillar, that is your artificial intelligence, that is AI, where we try to infuse intelligence into the business processes. Here, we mostly deal with optimizing, automating, and reimagining end-to-end -end business processes across all line of business and industries by trying to consume SAP AI business services, which are embedded natively into the various SAP applications across all its line of business. And one major factor here is, here we try to run AI responsibly using transparent and compliant as per SAP AI ethical policy, where we try to ensure governance and compliance. So mostly AI at the rate SAP BTP, it helps to operationalize AI across the business with confidence. It's more focused towards the operations of the AI based scenarios in an enterprise fashion with the help of SAP AI Core and SAP AI Launchpad. There are many ready to use SAP AI business services such as to talk about a few business entity recognition or document information extraction and many such services are available. All these various pillars of SAP BTP that is the five pillars of SAP BTP and remember the short form IDA that is A A I D A. A stands for application development. The other stands for automation. I stands for integration. D stands for data analytics and A stands for AI. So all these pillars combined, they all work together to provide a comprehensive platform for businesses to build, integrate, and extend applications in the cloud, enabling digital transformation and innovation. And the best part is, if you see at all these pillars, if I talk from an Abapus perspective, he or she may be interested in application development and automation. If I talk from an integration development perspective or an integration developer perspective, they may be interested about the SAP integration suite or the integration pillar or the advanced event mesh. And if I talk from a BW or a reporting or an analytics developer perspective, they may be quite interested about data analytics. And if we talk about the AI, the Zen AI, the buzzword that is in market right now, where SAP is also quite heavily investing with AI at the rate operate with its SAP BTP services in form of either SAP AI Core or SAP AI Launchpad or its variety of SAP AI business services. So these are the different services and offerings which we were just talking about and we have just tried to list them down as per the different unique service offerings which these different five pillars consist of. So if you see under application development, we have SAP Build Apps or SAP Build Work Zone or SAP BTP, ABAP environment or Kaima or the different runtime environments which we have been already talking about. Then we already talked about automation with the help of SAP Build Process Automation or using the SAP Task Center. Then all of the favorite integration with the latest SAP integration suite capabilities or advanced event mesh or the cloud platform integration. Then coming to talk about the data analytics, here we have different service offerings such as SAC or Data Warehouse Cloud or Data Intelligence Cloud or SAP Master Data Governance or SAP HANA Cloud. And last but not the least, the AI pillar wherein we talked about the SAP AI Business Services or SAP AI Core and SAP Launchpad. So we can easily say that SAP BTP is a technology platform that brings together data and analytics, artificial intelligence, application development, automation and integration that is all these five pillars together into one unified environment. And as we can see here that each of these five pillars again consists of multiple unique service offerings, which is again a big topic in itself. And definitely there's a lot to explore on each of these different, different service offerings across these different, different pillars. And I hope this will really excite you from either 
begin your journey from an above developer to either onboard your skills with respect to an integration developer or if you want to get started with your zen ai with the ai at the rate btp or if you want to go into data analytics so all these pillars are quite interesting with their multiple unique service offerings that they provide and we do need to understand that we live in a digital world wherein all of us could benefit from smart technologies to streamline our day to day operations so thanks for watching this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with the latest content and updates on our upcoming trainings as well also please join our zapyard community on whatsapp which comprises of various passionate sap consultants so that you can be a part of all the conversations across technologies and boundaries so don't wait hit the subscribe button now in case if you have not yet subscribed to our channel and be the first to receive all the latest updates thank you do catch you soon